Well, hello, world. Uh, I'm playing Altered Beast, uh, the Sega Genesis, using the Blast of Emulator um, to give you guys an easy capture because I'm too cheap for a capture card. This might be the first episode of something. Um, it's kind of an idea I just sort of came up with today, although it's it's sort of a continuation of an idea I had years ago. Um, but I've got a very basic setup here. I'm not even hooked up to any kind of extra mic. I've got my uh, physical stuff all put away, except for my Genesis controller that I've hooked up to the PC. I'm running a, a newer but cheap laptop, and I've just dumped the ROM. Um, but what I, I want to kind of do, it's going to take more than one video to, to explain it. Uh, so let's just get into playing, and I'll kind of talk about it as I go. But today we're going to play through Altered Beast. I'm going to see, without changing any settings, if I still remember how to beat this game. Possibly not. We'll see. Um... My plan, though, is to kind of play every Genesis game, and several times at that, quite possibly. I have a big, convoluted plan for how I want to go through it, um, and I'm going to record it. I wasn't going to at first, because there was a, a long period of time there when uh, you had these popular guys like Game Grumps and stuff doing... Let's Plays, and everybody thought they could be a Let's Player. I even experimented with it. And maybe we could, but, you know, it's a lot of work. And I, the one thing I noticed, and I think a lot of those guys who are successful at it would agree, is that the problem with trying to go that route in a really professional way is that I think it takes some of the fun um, out of playing. I mean, it's hard work. It, I think a lot of people think those guys just get to play video games for a living, and that's great. And I'm sure that they would say that's what they do, but they also will tell you they put a lot of work in. And unfortunately, I'm just a little bit lazy. Um, I do think that's one of the biggest barriers. You know, there's there's charisma, there's charm. I think to a degree those things can be learned, though. It's, <laughs> what can't necessarily be learned is not being lazy all the time um, and having that will to do it. But I do want to do this because, uh, well, for a lot of reasons, but Sega Genesis is one of my favorite consoles, possibly my absolute favorite console of all time. And I've always felt like, despite that, I haven't dug deep enough into its library. So I came up with this plan after a lot of fiddling, um, where I kind of earn points by beating games. That's something I'll explain in more detail in future videos. But... I basically earn points to try to unlock years. So I'm playing in chronological order roughly by year. So right now, all the games released in the U.S. in the 1989 year, I have access to. And then we'll go into, after I unlock the next year, we go into 1990, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, uh, I guess 96, and then probably 97 and above is probably going to be like the aftermarket years of stuff and maybe some like uh if i get a hold of them get into like more like import stuff um i am doing this though because i find that one thing that tends to happen um when you have a, a large collection of games especially is you kind of get a, a sort of paralysis about what to play Sometimes I can beat this guy like in two seconds, and sometimes it takes me forever. So let's just see how it looks. Nope, not, not a lucky day today. But I've um, not too bad though. I've had that paralysis a lot, where I've just got so many games, uh, both for this console and for other consoles. And I'm not rich or anything. It's just it's the only thing I spend my money on. <laughs> it's just video games. Uh, retro video games, mostly. Not exclusively, but mostly. Um, and it's not that hard for me to get a hold of Genesis games where I'm at. So, it's not that hard for me to, to play the ROMs, either. So, it's it, the thing is, is that like I can go through this library over time. And I've seen guys do similar stuff with blogs and things. But there's one thing about all of those blogs that I don't like... Um, 
I, I respect the hell out of the guys that did it, where they like play through every NES game or, or what have you. But my only thing is, it doesn't really simulate what it was like to have these games, because you didn't play through something once or play it for two hours and then put it down. And there's also this thing where when you didn't have very many games, you learned to love a lot of games you might not have loved. Maybe even like this one's a good example. Altered Beast was a pack-in title with the very first model of Sega Genesis. And it's kind of a weird game. It's, it's not Sonic, it's not Mario, it's a very unusual arcade game. And there's a lot of people that I think learned to love this game because for a while, it's all they had. They just dropped 200 bucks on a brand new game console uh, back when 200 bucks was a, a lot more money than it is now. Um, and so they didn't they didn't have another game, you know, maybe for uh, a couple weeks, maybe a month or more. So they learned to love Altered Beast for all of its quirkiness. I'm going to get hit here. I should have done something about that. I didn't. Um... But for all of its quirkiness and stuff, they, they learned to love it. And so I kind of wanted to simulate that, too, where I wanted to go through all the games, but I didn't want to just play something once and then give up on it. So the basic strategy that I use, and I'll probably go into more detail later, but basically beating a game, uh, a normal, typical Sega Genesis game, is worth one point. Beating something that has a password or a battery save system is worth 10 points, because those are generally longer games, assuming I'm I'm playing a mode that requires it. So to explain what I mean by that is, I could beat an exhibition game of Madden Football, and that would count as a point. But it, only, it can count as 10 points if I go through season mode, which uses the battery backup. So with RPGs and things, it's like the, every playthrough is worth 10 points. But with sports games, is the best example I can think of. Um, it's only worth 10 if you, the playthrough you did is like a season. It's like something that needed the saves. So bigger games are worth more points, but they also take a lot longer to play through. Uh, you can gain as many points as you want from a single game. However, every time you beat it, you have to do it under different conditions. You have to change a setting or you have to give yourself some kind of challenge. Um, you don't even have to start on the normal settings, but I probably will. Most of the time, I'm at least going to attempt a few times to beat a game just by pressing start and getting into it. Um, so I'm starting here with the, the pack-in title, the very, very first one that most people got to play in the United States. Uh, in Japan, I believe it was Space Harrier and, and Super Thunder Blade. Um, and other than that, the point of this channel is just kind of like to chill, talk about Sega, talk about, I don't know, whatever we want, life. I'm just going to wrap, I'm kind of using this as sort of like a combination of an expression of my hobby with my favorite game console, a little bit of nostalgia, um, but trying not to live too much in the past, just enjoying the games for what they are. And then um, also kind of a journal. Just sort of at the end of the day, you know, picking up a, a Sega Genesis game and, and playing for a while and, and talking to really no one, you know. If nobody ever sees these, that's cool, but I kind of like uh, the idea of, of kind of a very quiet community, like a... I don't know, there's something cool about like YouTube and these videos and stuff. If something ever happened to me, like my voice kind of carries on, if anybody ever finds it. Um... <laughs> I have no ambitions for becoming a great YouTuber. I'm not going to buy a bunch of mics and fancy equipment. I just want to play some games and listen to myself talk. I don't know what use it would be to people, because there's lots of other Let's Plays, and uh, if you're looking for just like gameplay footage, there's places to do that without all the commentary, which would probably be better for you. But... Um, you know, if you're into it, if you like to hear me talk as much as you like to hear myself talk, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, I know some people love these kind of videos for sleep aids, too, like somebody talking to them while playing video games. It's relaxing. I get that. I do that kind of thing a lot. Uh, Red Letter Media is usually my go-to, though sometimes Rich Evans' laugh <laughs> kind of gets in the way. It's infectious, but it kind of keeps me from sleeping. Um... But, you know, I, I, I will say this isn't a, an ASMR kind of video. This is, oof, that's, this is not what that's going to be because um, 
Oh, here's the final boss. There will be times I will just get quiet and focus on the game. So, I, I am not a professional, not trying to be. I'm just here to chill with you and rap and play. But let's beat our first game. Let's beat Altered Beast right now. Sorry this game's so fast. That's why I was talking so fast. I knew I wanted to get like the idea of the channel out, but I knew it was going to end quickly. And this guy's not tough. I can just kind of take him out right here. Boom. Done. Yep, it's a very short game. Very short packet. A lot of people still have trouble with it. I guess that shows you how much I've played it. <laughs> that I was able to get through. I'm far from perfect. I get hit a lot. But there it is. Kind of a good omen for the channel. <laughs> I beat my first game in 10 minutes. But yeah, don't let that fool you. I'm not a speedrunner. Uh, <laughs> won't be doing a lot of speedruns. Although I guess that could be a way of getting a point. But I've never really been into speedrunning myself. That's a lot more focus on one game than I'm willing to give. Um, when you look at like the library, there's only like 16 games in 1989. So that I'm using Wikipedia as the list. So like there, that means there's going to be a lot of games. Because like my idea was, after I get 100 points, I can go on to 1990. But every year it doubles. So I need 100 points to get to 1990, but 200 to get to 91, and then 400 to get to 92. And the reason for that is so that you can. Uh, you can go back and play early games. Like it, I could be in 1994 and still go back and beat Altered Beast, you know. So, first point is in the books. Uh, I beat Altered Beast under standard settings. That's it. I'll uh, see you guys again soon, maybe just in a couple minutes for another game. Uh, so, once again, uh, if you're coming in, you're actually watching, you're hanging out. I appreciate you. Um, good hanging out with you. I will... Talk to everyone again soon.